All right, this is my uh, lawnmower engine version to steam, and um, I have it hooked up to my uh, monotube boiler right here. Uh, and then I have an inline uh, displacement type oiler. You got to get oil in the system. Uh, the oil gets mixed with the steam here, just 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 to, just enough to lubricate the uh, the cylinder and the uh, 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 bearings, because the steam exhausts into the crankcase, or I should say, the steam and the oil exhausts into the crankcase, puts a spray of oil on all the moving parts, and then I just let the condensation just drain out of the old uh, oil drain plug. So water drains out, oil sticks to the metal parts, keeps it fairly well lubricated, not ideal of course, but you know we're dealing with a homemade uh, steam conversion, so I've seen a lot worse on YouTube, that's for sure. Anyways, I had to put a heftier spring in on what used to be the uh, exhaust valve. Uh, now it is the intake valve, if you will, um, because it was much closer to the, the port. It's kind of a direct shot, while the old intake kind of went across the whole head and uh, you get some uh, losses there. So this was a better one. I put a, a bigger spring on it so that uh, it doesn't float, because with a regular internal combustion engine, uh, basically you have a, a suction coming in on this side so there's very little need for a big spring here it basically just to return the valve because um, you don't have a lot of uh, pressure uh, pushing the valve from the inside um, but with steam you have pressure there uh, that can uh, what's called floating the valve which means the valve is actually pushed down by the steam pressure and then your engine's not going to do much of anything except blow steam uh, out the uh, uh, past the piston rings which will happen too that's another issue with uh, with uh, steam engines in general is that uh, flow by anyways um, it's a uniflow setup you see I knocked the uh, removed a lot of the fins you don't want this to be cold actually you want it the opposite you want this to be rather warm you know obviously not too warm to melt the aluminum but you don't want it to be cooling itself this needs to be at a, at a good temperature for it to be the most efficient otherwise the steam starts condensing uh, when you don't want it to now I've got it uh, it's uniflow uh, at the base of the uh, stroke uh, there's a series of holes drilled through the um, cylinder which go directly into where the valves the valve passageway or the push rod passageway into the uh, crankcase and that's how I get my lubrication in there um, also it makes it a uniflow design um, steam can also escape through a small hole here so I don't have a, I'm not building up pressure here too much and also uh, the original or actually what was the intake valve is now an exhaust valve and that's just helping out uh, on the uh, upstroke to push any remaining steam out kind of like a little release and I've got it set just so it just cracking it just so we're even so the pressure so we don't have a lot of back pressure fighting against us and that comes out here uh, contemplating putting a valve on this so I can control the amount of uh, extra exhaust because uh, I hear that uh, some residual steam in your cylinder on the upstroke uh, and some compression there is desirable but uh, uh, if I put a valve on here then I control that but anyways for now it'll do and uh, let's see it's uh, I guess we're ready to uh, fire up the boiler and uh, let's see what she does We got the boiler fired up, making some steam, and uh, let's see what she does. I'm going to turn the throttle here. Hopefully I got enough steam pressure. Yeah, it should be good.
imagine conversion. Not a pretty good, I must say. Alright, I just took the uh, uh, crankcase cover off just to inspect everything, and I took the head off as well. Um, looks like the oil is working fairly well. Everything's got a, a nice slick bit of oil on it. Nice oil film there. It's a bit emulsified. You can see here a little water mixed in. You know, that kind of mayonnaise-y. But it's, you can see it's mostly oil. The oil I use is really thick stuff. It's a uh, Lucas uh, heavy-duty oil stabilizer. Now, if you look at the specs online, it's um, it's got a higher flash point than traditional steam oil, um, and is uh, you know, thick as uh, molasses. Uh, this stuff works great, and um, you can see nice oil film. You know, once again, not ideal, but uh, but there and working. At least it's getting some lubrication. Um, only drawback is since there's water in here too uh, there might be some rust issues that's why I got the cover off to uh, dry everything out dry all the moisture out I got a steam fan out here you know kind of help it out along with evaporation yeah nice little bits of oil in the uh, and of course in the uh, cylinder head uh, Fingers are already oily, but there, there is a nice oil film in there. Any of you engineers out there have any uh, uh, suggestions or uh, constructive criticisms? That's always a most welcome in the comment section. Uh, there's always room for improvement. I don't care who you are. And uh, yeah, yeah, working pretty good.